Ever wondered why scientists are worried about us becoming a type 7 civilization? This might seem like a far-fetched question, but let's unravel it together. Let me introduce you the Kardashev scale, a theoretical model that categorizes civilizations based on their energy consumption. Picture it as a cosmic ladder, each rung representing a leap in energy harnessing capability. Where do we humans currently stand on this ladder? We're at the bottom, a type zero civilization. Yes, despite our technological advancements, we're still in our cosmic infancy. We only utilize a fraction of our planet's energy potential. Think about our energy sources, fossil fuels, nuclear power, and even renewables like wind and solar. We're yet to fully harness the energy of our own planet, let alone the stars or galaxies. So what exactly does it mean to be a type 7 civilization, and could we ever achieve this? Let's explore this cosmic conundrum together. Imagine harnessing the power of not just a galaxy, but multiple galaxies, or even the entire universe. That is the realm of a Type 7 civilization. Now, if you're thinking, wait, hold on, what on Earth is a Type 7 civilization? Let me break it down for you. Picture a civilization so advanced, it's as if they've unlocked the cheat codes of the universe. They can manipulate space-time like a potter shapes clay, bending it and twisting it to suit their needs. They're not just passengers on this cosmic journey, they're the ones driving the spaceship. And it doesn't stop there. Controlling dark matter, that elusive substance making up about 27% of our universe, is a walk in the park for a Type 7. They can harness this ghostly matter, which neither emits nor absorbs light, to fuel their intergalactic endeavors. It's like having an endless fuel source right at their cosmic fingertips. But wait, there's more. Let's venture into the realm of parallel universes. We're not sure if they exist, but a Type 7 civilization doesn't just sit around wondering. They harness the energy of these potential parallel universes, tapping into an almost infinite power supply. Imagine having a foot in not just our universe, but countless others, each with its own unique laws of physics. It's like having the keys to a billion different houses, each one more exciting than the last. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. And you're right, it does. But here's the thing. Our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. What seems like science fiction today could be scientific fact tomorrow. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember this. There could be civilizations out there that have harnessed the power of the universe itself. And who knows, maybe one day we'll join them. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But remember, reality is often stranger than fiction. You're still here. That means you're smarter than half the people who started this video. Now let's dive into the journey of becoming a type seven civilization. Starting from where we stand today, the leap to Type 7 is a mammoth task, an interstellar journey filled with challenges and advancements. But hey, nothing is impossible, right? First, we need an exponential leap in technological innovation. Imagine harnessing energy from black holes or bending the fabric of space-time itself. It sounds like science fiction, but remember, so did landing on the moon once upon a time. Second, our ethical considerations will need to expand as we do. We're not just talking about a global community anymore, but a universal one. How do we navigate this? Third, environmental sustainability will be paramount. We have to ensure the resources we use are replenished, not depleted. Becoming a Type 7 civilization may seem far-fetched, but isn't it intriguing to imagine what we could achieve? So why does all this matter? Why should we even aspire to become a Type 7 civilization? You might wonder. Well, let me tell you, it's not the power or the prestige that makes this journey significant. It's the potential to ensure the survival of our species. Imagine us, humans, not just limited to Earth, but spread across galaxies, making us virtually indestructible. We'd be able to explore the cosmos in ways we can only dream about right now. Imagine the knowledge we could gain, the mysteries we could unravel about our universe. But it's not just about survival or exploration. It's about the legacy we leave behind. It's about becoming a beacon of hope, an example of what can be achieved when a species refuses to settle, when it pushes the boundaries of possibility. The journey towards becoming a Type 7 civilization is not just about power. It's about our place in the cosmos and the legacy we leave behind. While the idea of becoming a Type 7 civilization is indeed fascinating, it's not without its challenges. Yes, the rewards are immense, but so are the risks. Our first challenge lies in mastering advanced technology without succumbing to its potential dangers. 
Imagine, for instance, the power to manipulate space-time and the risks of such power falling into the wrong hands or even the risk of self-destruction. Then there's the ethical dilemma. What right do we have to control other universes, to impose our will on other realities? This is not just a question of power, but of responsibility and morality. And let's not forget the resources. The leap from a Type 0 to a Type 7 civilization would require an unimaginable amount of energy, materials and manpower. The potential impact on our environment, both on Earth and beyond, is staggering to contemplate. In conclusion, becoming a Type 7 civilization is a monumental task filled with unimaginable challenges, but who knows? Maybe one day we'll be ready to take that leap, to not just survive but thrive in this unfathomable cosmos. The journey is long, the challenges are many, but the reward, the reward could be the ultimate legacy of mankind, a testament to our resilience and our unyielding spirit of exploration.